Uh, hey, it's a binge compilation. Happy 4th of Jolus. Unfortunately, being called Pretty Boy does make your brain burst into flames, especially if it is followed or preceded by a little geese. <sighs> oh, no. Theory that neurotypicals are the ones with communication issues, actually. You're the one who can't communicate with me, buckaroo. Neurotypicals will play four-dimensional chess about asking you to wash the dishes, and I don't believe this is my problem. Dude, literally, when I lived with my aunt for a bit, she said, Huh, it's supposed to be sunny all day. And supposedly, that was her asking me to put the laundry out on the clothesline? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What? Anxieties attack! Wait, no. No, not me, you fools! No, 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 not like this! No! Oh, damn it, I've been diagnosed. Hey, I just found Pucky Cho in my old toy box. Excuse me? Pull me back. I'm not legally male. I'm illegally male. I pirated my gender online. <gasps> You wouldn't download a gender. Am I? Writing prompt. I challenge you to a duel, sir. Pick your weapon and make your peace, for I've trained under the greatest weapon masters in fisticuffs. Wait, what? Fisticuffs! There's Todd Howard, the man. And then there's Todd Howard, the amalgamation of everyone who worked on every Elder Scrolls and 3D Fallout games. And now Starfield, I guess. He's gonna need 16 times the map size. There are two forms of the spoken words that will always transcend language boundaries. Singing and swearing, such as the duality of man. Then may I present to you the most beautiful song in the world. And if you could assist me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bugs are so funny. <laughs> they got lines for legs. Some of my favorite bugs. Nature's so beautiful. I must say, there's a wizard infestation on my blog. And we're not leaving. We like it here. It's very nice and damp. Perfect wizarding conditions. Might cast a magic missile or two. <laughs> I dropped my phone in the shower and the water opened up Instagram and changed my fucking pronouns. Hmm. Isekai title. Humans don't do anything for free. Somewhere out there, there's a guy who spent days, if not weeks of his life, cataloging every stupid thing you can do on Stardew Valley so that you can min-max the fuck out of growing potatoes on a pixel grid for quite literally no reason but that it might help someone else. Yes, they will do things for free. Crouch is to go into stealth. The cracking of my knees alerts the gods. I am immediately killed. Blending all my pills into a creamy pasta sauce and calling it Medicini Alfredo. <laughs> I think this is how Peppino ended up in Pizza Tower. The upside of ADHD is that it makes you a fucking genius. The downside is that you don't get to decide when and for how long you're a genius. Or what you're going to be a genius about. You have a big work project? Mm, no, 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 no. You're now a genius at making board games for seven hours. It's great. So do I just, like, follow anyone? Like, real people? Like, the actual people and not the subject matter? That isn't like following someone to their doorstep. Why, why does this seem so personal? Think of it as you're stray cats and every evening I put out my garbage and you come and eat it. This garbage is all mine. I feel cheated. No one on Reddit told me that Tumblr is a serotonin factory. Keep liking and reblogging my posts, please. Thanks. Just don't fly too close to the sun. Throw me into the sun and I'll get it pregnant. Fellas, gender neutral? You heard him. Ready to catapults. Horrified last night as I mentioned furries in front of my mother and had to watch her explain the concept to my stepfather using that CSI episode as an example. You know, it could be worse. I know that did some massive damage, but it could be worse. Could be the Thousand Ways to Die episode about furries. You're gay. He's mine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, come back! Ohio goes I must, gamers. Dead leaves? That's called yard salad now, and it's the new food trend. <clears throat> leaves. Wait, where are you going? When in straight spaces, just treat it like an anthropological expedition. Observe communication rituals and mating habits and the general feral interactions. My fellow queer co-worker. That sounds amazing. So, fairies have replaced my baby with the way cooler baby. Not sure how I feel about it. It does fly. Pokemon loves just straight up lying about things so much. This is Bink Bunkus. One swipe of its claws can cut down an entire forest. And then its claws do like 12 damage. 
Not even just stats either. Like, the glowing bulb on Bulbango's head is brighter than the sun, and you can clearly see it isn't. I need you guys to be aware of something. The Pokedex are being written by you, the character, and you're like 12 or 15, depending on which game. You're gonna exaggerate, because we've all done it. My Tumblr is like the pretty cool rocks I find in a walk and bring home. My brother complains about it, but that doesn't matter because I love them. What a strange cat. That's not a cat. It, it let you pet its belly without biting. Dogs like rolling over on their backs, so maybe dog? Look at this weird dog. Okay, so I'm agender, but my partner is pangender. Am I technically straight? You stopped being straight the moment you clicked on my Tumblr blog. Methinks Tadashi's legacy lies not in Baymax's 1000 plus medical procedures, but in the fact that he programmed his robot to act wasted when his battery is low. Such college student energy. Staring at a girl, wishing desperately I could tell her how much I love her. I'm at the zoo. And the girl is a Komodo dragon. Writing prompt. Aphrodite is talking to Ares. You know, Persephone gives Hades flowers every day. I wish you'd do that. The next day, Ares goes to the underworld and gives Hades flowers. Yeah, I'm not really sure why Aphrodite wanted me to do this, but here you go. Oh no, you made the god of war himbo. I like being Hyperberry from Route 214. It's uncomplicated. Train your taglines before they blow you up with 15 gravelers. Yep, sure do. Neil Gaiman, do you support the LGBTQIA plus community? Guess, body headaches make my brain feel full. I know good and damn well there is nothing going on up there. No thoughts, just hurts. Baby bobtail squids look like emojis, but alive. Look at him, autism beast. <laughs> I can't fix him. I can't even make him worse. But I do want him just the way he is. Name the character. Hello, PM Seymour. You must make a normal outro to a Tumblr reading video, or it will be you who is coming from Tumblr. Who, who wrote this? Uh, Jigsaw, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry they tried to trick you into a trap. I'll end the video normally just for you, buddy. Here you go. Hi, how are you? Welcome to our Gander reveal party. Don't you mean? No. Geese emerge from everywhere. There are no fireworks, only geese. There are no balloons, only chaos. There are no genders, only honk. <coughs> Mourning about how I was never a theater kid despite my love of theater as an adult. <laughs> it's over. Yowie is when I, when I, uh, what I say when I, uh, I stub my toe. <laughs> Yowie. Being on this website is fun because you can absolutely tell when a blurbo clicks in someone's brain. You're scrolling, and suddenly out of nowhere, there's like 12 posts about the same character back-to-back -back reposted by the same person, and you just know. Oh, they're a permanent part of their psych now. And honestly, it's a vibe. Go off, King. Don't encourage me, please. I'm already going feral over fictional men and women. All right, to make it worse, Andy, put up your favorite fictional men and women. Excellent taste. We're putting my teeth on the front cover of Teeth Magazine because my dentist loves me like a son. Cool. One time I dreamt it was made illegal to refer to the UK as United Kingdom, and the argument was, they were never truly united to begin with. <laughs> oh no. Blood is basically the most normal thing for a sword to hunger for. If a sword gained sentience and started asking me for blood, I'd be like, yeah, I thought, I thought you might say that. Is anyone else in misery, or is it just me and the guy from Maroon 5? What if you were the guy from Maroon 5? Good morning, insane girls. The rest of you? GM, I guess. Standing in the living room, peering out the window, a cold can of soda in hand, and a sense of still lingering wake-up dread. The day looks beautiful outside, in spite of the air being a bit misty due to the smoke from the wildfires. A single thought beats in my head like a throbbing pain I just can't ease. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I am doing today. 
Same. I hate fighting game tiers because the actual main characters are always like D tier while some obscure ass villain is the only S tier character. Due to an exploit where you instantly win by doing a dash taunt, loopy loop, zap, cancel, grab chain into a zippity doo wop combo meal with extra fries and large coke. Fucking bullshit. I take it you lost recently. Awful bold of you to assume I play video games that involve other people. I don't want to make a fighting game, but everyone in the roster is just a U.S. president. No, I don't want to see the tier list for that. Stop. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom Link is the character of all time. He's the destined hero handpicked by the goddess. He's too anxious to speak. He's the princess sworn protector, friend, and partner. He has eaten rocks. He could best an adult man in combat by the age of four. He's befriended every leader in Hyrule. He has Tony Hawk vibes so strong nobody else ever recognizes him. And the skills of Tony Hawk. He invented pizza. He can smite a Lionel in 20 seconds. He's four foot ten. He's even non-binary. God bless you, Link. Okay, but who's the dad jokes lesbian and who's the other dad jokes lesbian? <laughs> Massive milk bags, bad. No, don't tell me to a one-dimensional facet of my personality and grossly misinterpret me to indulge in your ships. No. They did it, didn't they? Why is it referred to as coming out of the closet? Couldn't it be something out of anything? What wasted potential? Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just guys. <laughs> no, stop. Let me put this in terms you can fucking understand. Our toddler, Falco Mewtwo Martinez, waved dash straight into a stage hazard because you weren't fucking watching him. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but Falco Mewtwo Martinez has massive Christian energy, and I'm gonna need you to stop. You know, it's been a while since PM Seymour did a video ending by having Andy find suitable gifts for the noises that Seymour made. Please, if you would, end this video in that way. <sighs> Fine. I hope you're ready, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that one? Hi. One day you will wake up and think to yourself, Hmm, I'm cozy. And then you will go back to bed and rest. This I swear, even if it kills me. Thanks, Pocket Show. Which boy do you think got enough sleep? The guy on the left, since he knows clear disgust with having his picture taken suddenly without permission. The guy on the right has had so little sleep that his grip on reality and emotions has left him. <laughs> I love it so much. What happened to the skeleton war? You guys used to love the skeleton war. My boy, this skeleton piece is what all true skeleton warriors strive for. Rules to learning English. There are no rules. Hate it. Hello! Welcome to my ADHD theme game show. So, you were holding it literally moments ago, but now it's gone! Where you look for whatever you were just holding while going increasingly mad! Queen, I love where this is going, but in the euphoria of your excitement, you left out so many important words. I'm just trying to get the mood right. Producer. Hey, I need you to create box art that will look badass to American kids. Graphic designer, no problem. Adds picture of Sobbing Orphan. Hey, listen. It worked for me. I immediately grabbed Kubone the moment I saw him. I knocked over a plant in my kitchen, but my cat saw me, so I had to spray myself with the water so I could show the laws apply to everyone. Piff. Hey, everyone, check out my new young adult fantasy novel called A Court of Blood, Bone, Ash, Roses, Thorns, Fire, Ice, Stone, Ravens, Enemies to Lovers, Fake Dating, Two Number Nines, and Number Five Large, and an Extra Large Fries. You'll never guess who the villain is. Is it the government? Hmm. Synonym rolls. Just like Grandma used to make. Can you just stop? I give you 128 by 128 transparent ibuprofen PNG. For when you and the Discord server want to take ibuprofen together. Thank you, I needed that. I just, I just poured some refrigerated water because it's hotter than quesadillas outside and I looked at how the water poured into my cup and went, Man, that's a good damn render. That frame rate's amazing. And I had to look up and squint to make sure I understood what I just said. Someone's been playing too many video games. Anyway, how's your afternoon? I thought we owned fancy brown sugar and proceeded to fucking destroy my coffee. 
Oh, oh, you poor child. Once in the fourth grade, this guy got 2% on his math quiz, so everyone called him Milk for the rest of the year. Sounds right. One of the best things ever is when you find a really talented artist who's obsessed with an obscure, popular character and just lovingly draws their underrated guy 30 times a day, even though all their posts get five notes. These people are the backbone of society. They're thriving. They're mentally unchained. Good for them. Y'all ever refuse to consume a piece of media you know you'd like solely because you think it'd make you feel more emotions than you want to? Like, yeah, the purpose of art is to make you feel, but I'm feeling plenty already. Thank you very much. Andy, put up that show that does that for you. Oh, man, that's a good one. Twilight Princess. Funniest Zelda game ever made. One of the reoccurring minor plots is that a three-year-old with the mental capacity of an adult is trying to abolish capitalism in the big city. There's a Yeti couple living in an abandoned mansion, and the guy Yeti is like ten times the size of, and more visibly than, the girl. Yet they make him a male wife. You collect insects for a little girl that is insane about them and gives you strange and off-putting dialogue about each bug every time you give her one and practically threatens you if you try to leave her home without giving her bugs she doesn't have yet! One of the modes of transportation in this game is being shot out of a giant cannon by a depressed clown and landing on your feet with no injuries. There's a spaghetti western-style minigame where the objective is to talk to 20 of her cats. A chicken attempts to flirt with Link and they made Tingle into a sexy man caricature. I completely forgot about the Uoku while making this post. This fucking thing! And of course her son too! Every time someone says that Twilight Princess is too grim, dark, and serious, I want to point them to this post. It's a very silly game. Look at Link's face as he grabs the Uoku. Tells you everything you need to know. And finally, after all of that... Bagpipes McMuffin. Adopt him today.